a show of support for climate action. The message was clear, but attempting to achieve that, less so. Marrakesh was billed as an implementation conference, a conference of action. In the end, organisers were convinced it had been a successful meeting. The key to making the COP a success is the close cooperation of all involved. And this is what we have achieved here in Marrakesh. But some here are calling for more urgent action. The Climate Vulnerable Forum believes many countries are simply dragging their feet. All countries, all parties are not doing enough in reversing the negative impact of climate change. One, uh, the commitment so far is not satisfactory to the future ambition and also readiness to, to deliver on that is not promising. That point was further emphasized by representatives of the Marshall Islands. We hope that uh, you know other countries see it and they, they, they uh, do their part because uh, without everybody uh, doing their part, I think uh, you know we may end up uh, sinking as a small island country. This conference was overshadowed by Donald Trump's US election victory. Trump is a known climate change skeptic who has threatened to pull out of the Paris Agreement. But those here remain hopeful that won't be the case. We are on the way. We have no doubt. We know Mr. Trump is very pragmatic and we know that the entire population of the United States is also already committed. Organisers insist the climate change tune has now changed. Countries are now committed to limiting global warming, but the task ahead remains considerable. Dan Williams, CCTV, Marrakesh.